Appreciate it. Thanks, Mark. Okay, this show is going to be exciting. It's going to be fast moving. We have some of the most incredible people that are going to be joining us. Next up, we've got John Board. And John, you know, it's interesting because sometimes you think, um, sometimes you think uh, that uh, the Republican Party is really just a bunch of old guys, you know, wearing coats like this out at the, uh, out at the, um, uh, <laughs> Dave, I guess, is joining us too, which is good. That's all said. Um, and then uh, the Republican Party is viewed as, you know, all the guys out at the country club. And, uh, and they're out there. But I'll tell you, this time around, it's a little different. And I think there's a lot of energy and there's some more young people that are coming to the Republican Party in droves. And so uh, John Board is a, a young man that I've known for a couple of years now. I've seen him everywhere. He works a lot with Tony Boucher, who is probably one of the most beloved members of uh, the Republican Party in Connecticut. And he's done some work for her as well as on the state budget, UConn Pay, and uh, in 2018. Yeah. But thank you very much for yeah. coming in. Thanks. So and uh, appreciate it. And we're also joined by Dave Strait, who may throw some questions at you. And uh, he's going to be here, like, you know, the whole time Mark, as well. He gets me on here just to laugh at his jokes. It, 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 it's it's true. That's how it works. Hey. All right. But yeah. uh, tell me, what is going on with the state budget? You were at the same meeting I just came to. Yep. We had Tony Boucher. We had... Um, Jane, uh, Giggler. Jane Giggler and uh, beloved John Fry of Ridgefield. Yep. And frankly, I left there a little downtrodden about the state budget, spending too much, taxes are going to go up, but what do you know? Yeah, Talk well, me off the well, ledge. Well, I mean, as, as someone who's done business in two different municipalities, mm -hmm. uh, both in Reading and in New Britain, uh, oh. the, the budget, I sort of come from it from the mindset of a municipal mindset. Uh, the budget, which the governor signed, I cannot begin to say how the negative impact it has, both for the 26th district and specifically for the town of Reading. It doesn't know favors. Ultimately, budgets are blueprints for where society places their priorities. Uh -huh. That is the bottom line in my mind. Okay, wait, give me that one more time. Budgets, yeah, budgets are, are uh, budgets go ahead. Are, budgets are this is quotable. This is brilliant <laughs> stuff. Go ahead. Uh, I'll, I'll write this down. Yeah, yeah write this out. Budget, there's blueprint in there. Yeah. Hold on, Let, let's have him go ahead. Yeah, budgets are the blueprints for where society places their priorities. Uh -huh. That is the bottom line at the end of the day. And okay. clearly this governor has shown disrespect through for certain municipalities through giving uh, the line item veto of $20 million, which I'm just working with Tony for many years, as well as Mayor Aaron Stewart, who we'll be talking yeah. about a little later. I, ultimately, we're going to be faced with a $1.3 billion uh, shortfall this fiscal year, which starts tomorrow. Yeah. And then in the out years, starting with a $1.4 billion the following year. Okay, so, so you're a young guy. Yeah. You have your entire future <laughs> ahead of you. You got a nice American flag on your lapel. What do we do besides voting these guys the heck out of there and getting some more rational, fiscally responsible, frankly, Republicans in there? What do we got to do? Well, I think first and foremost, it starts with the elections in November. Uh, mm -hmm. We are, uh, Republicans are very close to taking a majority both of the House of Representatives and also the Senate. Uh, we're four seats away in the Senate from claiming a majority and we're about 12, and we're 12 seats away uh, in the House mm -hmm. uh, from there. It then turns to uh, the municipal elections. Uh, and we've got to make sure that we have strong Republicans uh, in charge of our municipalities. And then it comes to 2018, uh, where we have the big enchilada. We have all of our uh, elected officials on a statewide level, all the way from comptroller to treasurer uh, to governor and lieutenant governor up for uh, election. So I think <coughs> it's critical. Who do you like in 2018 in, for in the governor? Well, I mean, look, in 20 Tony Boucher? Uh, I, Mark Bowden? Hey. Come on. This I, is a, I, the I, vast we, viewing we, we, audience want to know. We want an we, endorsement right here, right now. Look, Who are you we, going for? I, I think we have many. Don't be coy, we, we John. Have, look, Work with me on this. I know, Come on. I know. I Look, I think that if I had to choose today. Go ahead. The two top, John, John. Two not, top a, people. not a lot of people watch your show. Okay, it's just us talking The two top people are Aaron Don't say follow. Oh, Aaron's okay. Aaron Stewart, mayor of New Britain, she's 29. In three years, she's turned a $30 million, a $30 million budget deficit. Uh, the city was on the verge of filing for bankruptcy. In three years, she's turned it around to having a How did she do it? million. Dollar How did surplus. she do it? How did she do did it? Did she raise taxes? She did raise taxes. Whoa! There you she, go. But, but Give she, the man a chance. She did. Go, go ahead. No, but, but okay. keep in mind, she 
she's taken a very methodical approach. When she came in, the previous mayor had MOU's memorandum of understandings with each individual city hall employee to override the union contracts. She spent the first 18 months of her being in office restructuring city hall top to bottom. And ultimately, yeah, she did need to raise, raise taxes. When you're in that situation, I'm <coughs> sorry, but there has to be but that's the problem. That's what all politicians say. Look at the hole we dug. Remember that it wasn't long ago in the state of Connecticut that we had no state income tax, uh, right? Right. And what happened? Oh, we got to raise income. And they're, they're doing the same thing in Jersey right now with raising the 23 cent tax on mm -hmm. fuel. It's going to hurt you, big guy. Down Wait, New Jersey, I love, that's the cheapest gas. That's and they, I mean. they pump yeah. it for you. Right. And they there's no self-serve in New Jersey. Right. So they say, oh, we got the big hole. We got to raise the tax. Then we get a state income tax in Connecticut. Guess what? The hole got ten times bigger. Look, when when I when I look at it, John, I got your yeah. back. Be strong. Don't yeah, no. let him intimidate you. I got your back. Well, Go ahead. But <laughs> let, let me say this: she she brought a three notch upgrade to the bond reading in New Britain. And yeah. Then, and, and then three notch upgrade. Well, no. And Go then, ahead. And then again in twenty sixteen. <laughs> in twenty sixteen. Uh, going back to S&P, they yep. gave them an A+. Plus. So that is a direct turnaround there. We're, and, uh, we're AAA. Or, field, uh, <laughs> but, the Board of Finance has it pretty wired down. But go ahead. No, it's because well, everybody's wealthy over No, here. no, oh, no. no. We, we, we have, have fiscal constraint at Patrick Walsh. It's a well-run town. But go ahead. Well, I mean, and... Many great homes are available. Ridgefield, Connecticut. <laughs> you want to go, go to John Fry. Wonderful, wonderful <laughs> schools. <laughs> um, but if, if you look at it also, um, Mayor Stewart's also dealt with a crisis as well. Uh, the new uh, the New Britain Rockcats when they just decided to leave the city unannounced. Did the not New Britain who? New Britain Rockcats, the baseball team that's the, been there since the 1973. Baseball. I it was like a band no, this is oh, like Babe yeah. Ruth like leaving the, the leaving Boston. <laughs> no, not really? the Rockcats. They're down at but, Radio City Music. But rather, but rather than rather than throwing a fit. Yes. And go ahead. What not? She yeah. would. She rolled up her sleeves and what to uh, get a new team. If I'm running for office, I want this guy on my side. You know totally. He, Tony Boucher, this guy's like his right Okay, right I don't right. mean to pick on Tony Boucher. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, boy, no. here we go. All with right. the she, guns. You ready? She, we gonna... she is bloody dead wrong uh -huh. on in a person's ability to defend themselves. 100% wrong. And she was dead wrong on voting for the restraining order. You're familiar with this, uh, this um, temporary restraining order that she just voted in favor of, right? Mm -hmm. Now, your spouse or whoever you're connected with just on an allegation that I think Marty's a dangerous person, the cops are obligated to go take his guns. That's before a judge even weighs in, right? How is that, that would not, they've demonstrated that that would not have stopped a single one of these mass murders. In fact, nothing that's been proposed in Connecticut would have stopped a Sandy Hook tragedy, nothing. And yet, they pile on all these things and now we're gonna keep America safe. Let, let, let me say this a bit, and this goes back to the tragedy, uh, tragedy in Sandy Hook. In terms of my feeling, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I weighed in on the gun bill. Uh, which way? Uh, which way, I've, I said it in favor, but hear me out, uh, with I would have respected it 10 times more if they broke the bill up into the three but, different... But, 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 hold that's on, a hold on. Let the man finish. That's how politicians on, always respond. Don't let him push I you around, John. I voted even though I was against well, it. Well, no. What are we supposed hold, to do with let that? Let him finish. Hold Go on, ahead, sir. John. The, the, no. school the school security measures in the bill were strong. The mental health aspects were a, st were a step in the right direction. And quite frankly, with the gun legislation, we, as Republicans... I'm, I talked to Larry, I talked to Larry Guevara during the whole situation. He was holding the line as much as he could, and I spoke with John. John McKinney was placed in a very difficult position, that, and, and that, I, I, I know that does nothing to nothing. Ease, ease your calms or fears. But Senator, I have the utmost respect for Senator McKinney, and he was placed in, quite frankly one of the most difficult positions that I think a state legislature has ever Listen, faced. Listen, there's one politician in Connecticut that gets it right on every single thing, Joe Markley. I, I am telling you, yeah. Joe Markley What about needs Dan to be Carter? Right. He was right on the He's gun, a huh? close second, I'll tell you. It took, it took a lot of courage and a lot of understanding and conviction to vote against that gun bill mm -hmm. when you represent Newtown. And you know what? Uh, yes. Guess what was one of the fastest, of all the towns in Connecticut, one of the fastest um, segments acquiring guns. The people in Newtown, the people, and guess, guess what in society right now, in America today, what is the, the segment of society that's acquiring guns faster than anybody else? The homosexual community. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. is that? 
Because they got their heads blown off. I mean, let, let, let me say that uh, to, to that point. I'm an openly gay Jewish Republican Eagle Scout adopted from Russia. I, hold I on, think, hold on. Let's break that yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, Eagle Scout, Dude, I heard. That's a lot of titles. Now, Russia was involved. I yeah. Russia, okay. Openly, got the gay part. Openly the Russia. gay Jewish Republican. Jew, Jewish? Jewish. Jew, mazel tov. All right, go ahead. Uh, Republican Eagle Scout adopted from Russia. I knew I liked I mean, you. I mean, you got like, you know, five out of the six things yeah. I love. I yeah, like Eagle so, Scout. Uh, so, uh, I mean, to that point. I've, I've worked with Sunday Merkley on higher education issues, and I, I agree with him on a lot of issues. I've known Dane Proto for the past six years. I think he's going to do a great job as the next United States Senator from Connecticut. There's so much that we need to do to work together, but first and foremost is getting our fiscal house in order. And I think that's the main focus that we have to uh, work together on as a state, because without having a fi our fiscal house in order, we cannot have all of these supplemental policies. So, why do, so why do, why do so-called conservative Republicans, which to me is become an oxymoron, why are they so willing to be sidetracked on stripping people of their ability to defend themselves when they should be focused on the budget? Well, I'm why do all these Republicans vote to take away people's guns when they should focus well, on the budget? Well, I mean, I mean let, me, let me say this. Senator Boucher has been focused, been focused on the budget. She's been focused on the budget ever since she entered the state legislature. And in my mind, I think Aaron Stewart has the mindset to go all the way. And a lot of people have been talking about her as an up and coming uh, leader in the Republican Party. And she's, I think she's the right <coughs> person to turn this state around and to bring a new generation of leaders Time will tell. to the state. Time will definitely Is that tell. the new Britain person? That is new, new and Britain she's good Mayor. friends with JR, right? Yeah, she is. There's, got some, there's some chemistry there. Hey, I was well, at that uh, cigar smoking thing in New Haven, and mm -hmm. she's like, oh, yeah, she's the one in New Britain. So Yeah, be, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I want to thank you so much hey, for coming in. Thanks so much for I having I really appreciate me. it. And you'll come back, right? Definitely. Because we want we want to have your perspective on all this, and I really Definitely. appreciate it. And you set up the Dave straight. Well, he's really quite mm. a, you know, he's old. Terrific job. Guy. It was a pleasure hey, to have you on. Seriously, if hey, I'm running, running for office, me. I want you in there on my side. Hey, thank for you so sure. much, Dave. All right. And this 